This morning I'm in Boston. I traveled here yesterday, made it here last night, had an amazing dinner with Pastor Sergio that's going to be hosting me here and um, got a great night's sleep, had some incredible time with the Lord this morning. But uh, today I'm actually heading over and I'm going to be leading a workshop and training and equipping for a bunch of leaders from this area of Boston. I'm so excited to be here. I love this city. This is one of my favorite places uh, to come to. Um, I get to come here uh, frequently each year, and every time I come, my heart just grows more and more in love with the people here, the city here, and I'm expecting God to do some incredible things today and tomorrow before I head back home. Can you say hi to Dada? Josiah, I'm taking a picture of you. Uh oh. I'm just sitting with my mom at home. Sometimes take them even deeper. Muchas veces tendrás que llevarles más profundo. And allow the Lord to begin to heal their hearts and their minds. Y permitir que el Señor sane sus mentes y sus corazones. And watch their behavior start to follow. Entonces notarás cómo su comportamiento comenzará a cambiar. Amen. Amen. Hey, this morning is uh, my second morning here in Boston. I'm actually here riding in the car with Pastor Sergio and um, have had just such an amazing trip. Um, yesterday we had a training at his church with a bunch of uh, leaders that are like small group leaders and their spouses and then some of the other leaders that are part of those groups. Um, they all gathered and we did a bilingual uh, just day of training and uh, activities and um, just getting into the Word of God and it was a really powerful time in God's presence and um, just some amazing testimonies I know that we heard yesterday and I know there's going to be uh, many testimonies to come of even other things that we haven't even heard about that happened this weekend uh, but it's been a fun trip here and uh, today we're going to do uh, we have a Sunday service this morning and uh, and so we just have one little bit of time left at the church and then I'm going to be heading back home uh, later this afternoon. Hey everyone, good morning. Hey, do me a favor. I know you've already said hello, but can you give a big high five to the person that's next to you? Tom, welcome to church. Really welcome, welcome, to church. welcome to church. We are officially in the month of March. Today, when, um, when I was praying when you was praying yesterday for to heal to heal the people and I was with the pain in my leg I was very worried because sometimes when I'm walking I feel very bad because in the gym I was doing exercise and I, I was I feel like I was something happened in my nerves and um, when you was praying yesterday oh my god that's I felt something in my leg I took my my shoes I, I put my shoes in the, in the other side because I was feeling something strange. I said, oh my God, what happened with me? Oh my God, when I felt, when I felt that, immediately the pain disappeared. I, I, I don't feel nothing. I, I, yesterday was amazing. I, I don't have a word to say exactly what I was feeling, but the thing that I felt was a miracle. Miracle. I feel something. I say thank you. Jesus, thank you, God, because God is extremely, is amazing. And I hope that everybody believes in God because the power is moving all the time in us. I believe in God. That's the strength. Thank you very much. Thank you to pray for us. Thank you for stay, stay with us. Thank you very much. So we just got done. Uh, we just had an awesome service at Harvest uh, Ministries here. Amazing time. David. It's coming with us. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna go see um, see if we can get some food, maybe some coffee, downtown Boston, and then I'm going to the airport and I'm gonna go see my lovely family. This is Joshua. Hey, amazing time with Andrew this weekend. Thank you for sharing them. We had so much fun. We got to uh, experience um, in a very, very vivid way what it means to be someone that is open to hear God's voice and as you hear him he's the one that's going to put you 
in line with his resources and power. And that's what people need. They need to encounter the grace, the love of God, the power of God. And Andrew was a great teacher at it. So thank you.